new season is here, so new banner. I uh, just kind of pulled and uh, I'm surprised. You, you see what I'm talking about. Uh, you again. I can't believe I'm pulling her. <laughs> Driper again? Okay. Hello again, Diamond. You, uh, as usual, you are a sort of uh, prickly, but that's fine. I can't believe I got Gleetney. Gleetney. Uh, uh, whatever. Counts of the 13 member. Not what I'm looking for, but that's fine. Yeah, hello again, Fudora. You're like the first unit I break through for. Nice to see you again. Yeah, you've seen Diamond. I'm skipping. Getting a lot of repeats here, but uh, it, it's fine. Zola. Uh. Anyway, yeah, this pool was mad. You see that? Four. Four fucking five stars and a six. This is this is lucky. It's a pity I got you because I don't think I'll ever be leveling you. Ever. But uh yeah, that's fine I guess. I use diamond sometimes, some sometimes, and uh, now her skill uh, shoots seven of the attacks, well, seven of these things rather than just six, and it penetrates eighty defense. So not bad, but uh, not a not a good upgrade. Yeah, sure. 
as as you say, I guess. Really? Okay, whatever. It's like they got a bit dark, but that's fine. Uh, a breakthrough 3, you get increased range, which is good. It's too bad I don't have a extra copy of you. And uh, finally, I got you. I uh, don't know what to say. I, I've i borrowed you before uh, in, in a friend's list, but uh, it wasn't, wasn't very inspiring. I mean, he's he's decent and all. Sure, he's good. It's just not the uh, not quite the unit I'm uh, not quite the unit I was hope not quite the unit I was hoping to get, should I say? <laughs> well, uh, at the very least, I remember that uh, I remember that somewhere around here, I uh, had some I had some flashcards that I used for. Uh, Used for uh, Tian Yi, which is uh, the the other girl. So I might as well see if I can find those uh, those upgrades again. Oh, look at that! Oh, no, 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 no! That's for balloons here. Don't steal her shit. That's bad. Glitney, there we go. Oh, I have to take it from balloons here. Ah, pity. I have to give balloons here back her uh, her chip. Yay! That's, uh, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Today's banner features you, 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 and you. I uh, pulled here because I wanted a copy of you, honestly. Uh, once I got a copy of you, I would be able to uh, ramp up my damage even more. Let me just uh, show you what uh, she would have gotten. If I manage to pull for her, uh, when she kills an enemy, her next attack will be buffed. Uh, what's that called? Her next attack will be buffed and increased, which is a significant boost. And uh, yeah, since she often one hit KOs a lot of the units, I wanted to raise her, but uh, yeah, there's there's no luck there, unfortunately. Oh, it's a pity. Well, uh, that's that for for the moment at the very least. I'm uh, just going to keep raising the units. You know the what's that called? The uh, the S the S6 chapters are about to go away, and uh, I've been grinding those quite religiously, might I add. I uh, I have a small stockpile of that, but I used it recently in order to level one of my other units, which is unfortunate, but uh, you know, that's just how it goes. You farm those things in order to use them, so if they don't get used and just sit in your... Uh, See in your inventory, it's not really doing its. What's that called? It's not really contributing to your uh, to your progress. If you think of it that way, so don't feel bad if you have had to stockpile like a gi ginormous amount of uh, of these things inside of your uh, reserves. But you should uh, prioritize using them. It's not just about stockpiling them. You also have to expand them. To give you a, uh, let me see, no, 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 uh, you, eh, where is it? Yeah, there we go, okay. I have 8 of these, I have 9 of these, I have 5 of these, 18, 20, and 2 of these. I'm gonna grind these a little bit, I'm gonna grind this a lot, uh, just rack up the numbers until I get about, uh, I don't know, 15 for each of them, preferably. That way I would be prepared to level any and all units that I have in my uh, possession. That's, uh, that's the plan for the moment. I'll probably do the uh, roguelike a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, just pause and uh, grind up my materials. In fact, in fact, I'm going to do it like this. I'll do it like this. Okay. I'll... Uh, there we go. I'll cut off here and then I'll come back right here. See you in a bit. Welcome back. I uh, formed this up, and I formed this up. There we go. Very, very straightforward so far. Nothing special. Just a bit of grinding here and there. Uh, all right then. The new what's that called? The new uh, chips are out. So wait, no. The new flashcard stages are out. There we go. 
So I'm gonna do that next. Let me just uh, align these. There you go. Okay, now you can do look like without without remorse or trouble or anything like that. But uh, what's that called? As you can see over here, this is uh, the simplest version because uh, because the what was the word I'm looking for? The uh, this this is a simpler version because of the reset. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. All right. Uh, as a result, you can see that uh, the discrepancy is huge. It needs 450, which have 2,952. Uh, at this point, I'm not even inclined to try very hard for this. For at least the easier stages. It, if I say it that way, then it's like playing this is just pointless. I might as well just, you know, play it after I reach the harder stages or something like that. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Did that just miss? Please tell me that didn't just miss. Oh god. Yeah, these uh, these basic difficulty uh, flashcard stages aren't too... These uh, flashcard roguelike stages aren't too difficult. So it's not that big of a problem. As you can see over here, there's been a layout change. It now looks like this. There's a there's a yellow colored vert to highlight uh, the faction of the bath that it's from. All of these are from Cheng Chen for some reason. <laughs> All of these are from Cheng Chen for some reason. I didn't I didn't even want to think about that too much. Oh god. Oh god. Why? And uh, they took out my favorite uh, bath, which is Ji Hui. Uh, the one that gives you a uh, health regeneration. They they should have just took it out. I can't see. I can't find it anymore. It's a pity. That's just how it goes. So let's just speed run this uh this basic mode difficulty. Nothing too special. Just a uh, speed run as fast as I can. Boop. Bang. Bop. And go. Before the reinforcements even come in, just just get in there, break it. Yeah, when you're over leveled, these things are uh, these things are a pushover. In fact, I'm inclined to say that uh, this game is best enjoyed when you level one unit as much as possible, and then use that one unit to uh, clear out everything else. No, uh, what's that called? What's that called? Uh, raise one unit as high as possible and then use that one unit to help your other units get as high as possible sort of I guess Is that is that proper? I'm not sure I feel like if you play the game that way you have a you have a better shot of a of a oh, What's the word I'm looking for? You have a better shot of a clearing the game's content faster than usual you want to invest into units that you know how to use. Importantly. More importantly, uh, yeah, if you can't invest properly into a unit you want to use, then no amount of uh, persuasion will get you anywhere. Medic. Keep them alive. My lady. These things get upgraded when you're in a higher difficulty, but uh, this one's a fairly easy difficulty so far, so it's not very really a challenge. You see how one shot from uh, from Laban took out like half of the health? Oh god! <laughs> That's way too gross, honestly. Uh, Qing Liang or Cheng Chen, I'll uh, take you. Um, let's see, Ran Xie Zi Yi. This one is a interesting stage. It works better when you have a... Where is it? No, not you. I, I could use you. Uh, I could use you. There we go. This stage is better when you have ranged units. I learned it today, but... I learned it today that uh, this stage is best clear with ranged units. Because uh, there's this guy... Uh, there's this uh, bloody thing over here that summons and... Uh, basically messes up your life. Yeah, that thing. 
That thing over there. It's a piece of shit. Get it out. Laman's gonna die, no. Laman. Laman, no. Laman, no. Retreat. No. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, ah, you see the problem. The the snipers, everyone just like obediently goes the bottom line. No, nobody like bends upwards at at any, what's that called? No one bends upwards at any, any instance. I've never seen them bend upwards like that unless, of course, there are enemies that uh, basically stay in the middle and walk down towards them. Otherwise, you're more or less locked into walking upwards like that, and that's kind of unfortunate. Ah, oh, great, we get to skip to the end. No bullshit, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this team's too powerful. Uh, well, more importantly, these stages were designed for, uh, for uh, level... These, these stages are designed for level 60 to 89. Uh, basically units that haven't got their Breakthrough 3 yet. I have units at Breakthrough 4 already. This is, uh, this is hardly a problem for me. Yeah. Oh boy. Time. Get ready. Now. Stun. And nuke. And kill. Stun again. Yeah. So great, I got to speed run this. This feels nice. I'm at the end. It didn't feel like the end though. Usually the final enemy is a uh, Renli Guan Cha, which is uh, that uh, that creature that sort of looks like Dumus, but a little bit different. I don't want to think about it too much. Ugh. Wait, I have a hundred. You mean I need 200 now that I have 3 levels? Ugh. Yuck. Gross. So yeah, roguelike mode isn't too difficult at the moment. I get to do a higher difficulty at the very least. But I'm not going to do it yet because I have a... Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. If you clear this 3 times, you get free, free shit. So I might as well clear it free 3 times. After I'm done clearing the basic mode like three times, I'll move on to like the advanced mode three, uh, no, uh, the medium mode three times, and then I'll do uh, the hard mode, the one that I'm usually used to, uh, the one I'm used to doing three times. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan moving forward at the least. Nothing too special here, it's just, uh, you know, it resets, so... You have to clear everything again. And uh, the next reset is scheduled on uh, October 19th. Which is quite far. It's like a month and a half or so. Eh, a month. A month and 10 days. It's like 40 days or something. Not sure. And uh, before I end the video, I uh, can show you. Ta-da! Suna's getting a, uh, a swimsuit skin. She shows up on the field for 5 seconds and then she retreats. <laughs> if you want to be horny, I hope you can come in 5 seconds. <laughs> she comes and she goes. Piasasa. <laughs> okay, Sasa. Okay. Alright, alright. Thank you for watching, I guess. Uh, nothing too exciting going on right now. You know, it's not a, there's no PvP, there's a, no real uh, rush towards the next event. Just uh, take your time. Take your time. You know, uh, absorb the scenery. Breathe and uh, just relax. Let me see, how many of these are there? Okay, just one, so I can make another one, I think. Yeah. Nothing special to do for uh, the moment at the very least. But the next event, at least from what I've heard, is slated to be extremely fun and difficult. 
but let's not uh, let's not kid ourselves here. I have to raise my units uh, to a sufficient degree before I can discuss discuss that to any further degree or to any further further length. But that's fine. That's fine. I uh, only have one completely maxed out unit thus far. Her name is Spirit. She's level one hundred thirty. Her skill is maxed, and uh, for the most part, she's almost complete. She just needs uh, this uh, how can do uh, favorability to reach level five. Uh, might as well do it now. And do, do. There we go. Once her favorability reaches level five, I will be able to use this. This uh, infinity symbol to get a uh, I don't know to get a core unlock core unleash I I suppose I'm still excited about what this is I've never seen it before I don't think I've seen anyone on the on the media do it before I think someone's about to do it but uh, it, it's it's going to take time to reach there until then well I uh, just keep raising my units. Keep every keep raising everyone up to level ninety uh, one and above. I currently have fourteen units. As you can see, Suna has finally uh, reached her breakthrough four, which is pretty pretty nice. Next target will be these girls, I guess, because these girls just need levels. Nislin over here or Nibilin uh, needs materials, gold, and uh, yeah, promotions, promotion stuff. So. The barrier of entry for raising these girls are lower compared to Nibbling. So that's probably my plan moving forward. Oh. And uh, it's a pity because uh, there was this nice uh, Pythoran member that I borrowed during the roguelike mode. She was a healer who could refund a bit of her damage as healing. That That is great, honestly. I want that for... Uh, I want that for a stage where I need to beat the boss. Specifically, this boss. Where are you? There you are. I like a healing. I like a what's that called? A caster who can partially heal the damage she deals. That would be great for dealing with this boss. You've already seen this boss, but uh, maybe I should just play it so you have an idea of uh, how I clear this now. Now, now. All right. First of all, Nibelin and uh, no, a Vanguard girl, out out over here with a, uh, with my super powered uh, with my super powered son. As you can see, she has a aura thing around her. Once those two are down, they'll be able to clear out uh, what's that called? Clear out that jewel before it even hurts the turret. So the turret will be contributing to the DPS actively for the entire duration. That's pretty good. Next you need to get down is the highest dealing, uh, what's it called? Next you need to get down is the highest uh, damage dealer, which is her. Nice. Put her there. It's okay. She is only targeting Sun because uh, Sun's the one who's been dealing the most damage at the moment, but uh, it'll, it'll change. You change to me now. I don't know. I'm playing. Ah. Alright, let's use uh, Suna preemptively. Let's not waste any time because uh, the next wave is coming in. So that's about the only time I get to use Suna on the boss. I think. The rest are for sniping the the monsters, I think. I, I think. I'm not sure. I have to check. Hmm. Worth checking, I guess. Alright, the whole team's down. This is when I change it to uh, Arts from uh, Yaston and uh, use this. That way, I have a unit who can deal with the cannons so they stop picking off my unit. Uh, that one's already dead. Uh, move it up a bit more. Plop it down. Ah, oh, it doesn't hurt the, the defender. Ah, that sucks. Okay, uh, when that happens, uh, highest cost unit move all the way to the top left so she doesn't bomb or hurt anybody use uh, use Suna actively whenever she's off cooldown you want to deal as much damage to the boss as humanely possible 
and this is the best slash only approach you can uh, deal with the boss you can use to deal with the boss <laughs> that's going to hurt Breeze that, that is going to hurt if your units are not level thankfully mine are I'm gonna put a uh, Yaston's what's that called uh, energy field preemptively deal with the cannons stop them from uh, hurting my uh, stop them from hurting my units let's uh, retreat you so uh, none of my units get hurt very nice very nice I wish I could uh, use Suna more actively, but uh, it's a pity. That's just how it goes. That's why I played so far. It's uh, not so good. I haven't gotten SS rank on uh, this particular stage before. Ever. 548277. Highest record thus far. Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, this one's nearing a million. This one's uh, over SS rank, so. <laughs> I managed to get those because I'm using uh, Paituran instead of using uh, the magical girl that uh, that's shown over here. As you can see over here, uh, worldwide percentage-wise, I am in the 20th percentile. Uh, the 20th percentile, yes. When it comes to dealing with this boss, I'm the 21st percentile. Uh, about 20% of the player base has dealt more damage than I have for, uh, for Glutter. Which is expected because uh, she's she's a fairly decent boss, but uh, it's it's not so how do I say this. It's not so uh, it's not so easy to assemble the right squad in order to deal with uh, the boss, unless of course you uh, spend a lot of money and uh, you know actively pull for the units like him, Galin, who has uh, these uh, where's this Python infection. <laughs> Have I shown you Gurlin before, by the way? He's interesting. He summons uh, two panthers. These panthers are uh, fairly tanky. Really strong as well. It's so cool. It's very, very cool. These panthers hurt. I'll have you know these panthers really hurt. Like, Jesus Christ. I've seen these things destroy me like PvP. I know it's weird to see him in PvP, but someone used him against me. I'm guessing uh, he played too much. Uh, he played too much PvP, so he had no uh, loan units. He had to use his own. Oh. Well, that being said, thank you for watching this this uh, episode of Glitched. Or whatever you want to call it. I don't care anymore. Alright. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'll, uh, hopefully the next time I film again, or record again, there won't be construction work outside my house. Uh, this is fairly early in the morning. So, yeah. You don't hear any construction yet. Uh, I'll, there'll be no construction at my house. And she would be able to get her... Uh, her... Uh, what's that called? Core Unleash. I think... Yeah, I still need the uh, favorability, unfortunately. I can't do it preemptively. But, yeah. I'll see you all next time on Call Leached. Bye-bye.